All right, adventure day has begun. Let's do it. Somebody got a new swimsuit. I did. And they're looking sexalicious. Hey, well, what do you think of this spot, bud? Wow, it's super cool. It's just like lush greenery. It's so pretty. It's like the most delicious thing I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Previously on Project Atticus. After hiding out for hurricane season in the Rio Dulce, Guatemala, we finally set sail back out into the open ocean. We set our course for the Bay Islands off of Honduras, a route known for high levels of piracy. Luckily, our anti-piracy strategy of staying 20 miles off the coast paid off and we made it safely to the island of Utila. Well, today we're both a little bit pooped from the passage and we are trying to kind of scramble out of Guatemala really quickly. So um, we just thought we would take today to get some errands done and then just come back straight to Atticus and relax. So now we're gonna head ashore, talk to the port captain, uh, get a SIM card, and then just get a real quick grocery run in. Oh, they have craft beer and food here. migración se fue. ¿Ah, sí? Se ¿A qué hora se van? Eh, se, no, o sea que se fue y viene hasta el 4 de diciembre. Ah, ok. Mm. Ay, ay, yo, ay. yo no sé si tú quieres estar aquí. ¿Está bien que estemos aquí? Sí, no, no, por, por mí, por mi persona no hay ningún problema. Okay. ¿verdad? Okay. Nada más que como el 4 ya tienes que venirte a buscar migración. Okay. The port captain asked if he could take a picture of Atticus on his phone to enter into an electronic database, a procedure applied to all cruising vessels entering Honduras. some cheeses and some meat. So they've got a lot of stuff. In our experience cruising in Belize and Guatemala, shopping meant going to a bunch of different stores, the butcher for meat, produce stand for vegetables, and the supermarket for pre-packaged items. It usually took me a whole day to provision. In Utila, it was way more the American style of one-stop shopping, which was super convenient and took me a lot less time, but the quality of produce wasn't as great. Got all of our errands done. We both feel pretty exhausted, so we're excited to just put everything away and enjoy the sunset. Um, Jordan volunteered to cook dinner tonight, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, just getting to a new place, it's really exciting and fun, but it's also really draining. <laughs> so just trying to figure out the conversion rate, getting the money, getting your SIM card, figuring out where the bank is, which places have internet. Uh, it just kind of takes a, takes a little bit of a toll, <laughs> but uh, I'm excited to explore the island tomorrow, have some fun, uh, but mostly I'm just ready to pass out and just do nothing. <laughs> Well, how does it feel to have your first sunset shower in like three months? Feels pretty good, yeah. 
We actually got, um, we upgraded our Helio shower. We had the smaller one before, but we got the bigger one and it is freaking awesome. Looking good, bud. Thank you. Work it. Want to see my hairy legs? No. <laughs> It stays pressurized for quite a long time. Yeah. Bring the awesome. water. Is it warm? Yeah, feels really good. Oh gosh, after doing errands all day, it feels so good. <laughs> yeah, being on Sail Libra made me appreciate a hot shower while underway. But to be honest, if we don't have hot water, I really don't mind taking showers out in the open. I'd actually prefer taking showers out here. Cause yeah. Look at this view. Yeah, I know. I feel the same way. I don't really feel like I'm lacking privacy. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, nice one, Helios. Yeah. Thing's badass. Yeah. Adventure day has begun. We're gonna kick things off by going for a morning swim. It's so beautiful this morning. The water is super calm and flat. There's a the bud. There's the bud. We just, Ready for the morning swim. Yeah, finally feeling a little bit rested after all the scramble. So I'm excited to explore this pretty island. Mm-hmm. With the bud. Exploring with the bud. Mm-hmm. Ready for Adventure Day? Yes. Adventure Day! Can you tell by my hat? Yeah, you got Adventure Hat. Yep. You got Adventure... Face. Face. You got Adventure just all over me right now. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> We had heard that the best way to see the island was to rent an ATV for the day. So we found a rental shop and spoke with the owner. I was going to ask, do, do most people in Onotila speak English? Uh, I figure now you got about 40% of the people that speak English. 40? Yeah. Gotcha. Is that less or more than it used to be? Before, in the 19, early 1980s, 19 late 70s, Everybody spoke English. Mm. Yeah. There was only two people that spoke Spanish here. It was uh, a school teacher and my mom. Really? And it. your mom, you said? Yeah, my mom. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So she was the first, one of the first Spanish speakers, huh? They were the only two Spanish people. Wow. That, uh, so like when I go into stores, it's probably better just to speak English then? It's a little confusing sometimes. Yeah. Because you can pick the phone up and everybody answer in Spanish. Okay. They're assuming, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So. Huh. Okay, cool. Well, we'll, pro yeah, we'll go grab breakfast and then... Come on back. Okay. Well, we usually like to find like little hole in the wall local spots to eat, but we were just we just want to get on that ATV and start exploring. So um, the guy at the rental place recommended this spot, so we're gonna chomp down and then go over our map and game plan. Yeah. This is definitely the most touristy spot we've eaten at in a yeah. long time. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, sometimes you just gotta do it. <laughs> thank you. And your tajadas verdes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks really good. Let's do it. Checking it out, you can see the mountains in the distance. Pretty ocean. Nice little private beach. That's a cool spot. Alright, what do 
what do you think of Platinum Beach there, bud? Nice. Secluded. Water feels great. Lots of plastic, unfortunately, but still really pretty. in there. It's pretty. Razor sharp. <laughs> okay, well, what do you think of this spot, bud? Wow, it's super cool. There's all these little caves that you can see through, and the water's like crystal clear, and there's really pretty, like, aqua color. And then these rocks are this, like, deep, kind of dead gray color. And you get just like lush greenery. It's so pretty. I want to jump in the water really bad. <laughs> it looks so awesome. Imagine how painful it would be getting back up. I know, yeah. You just cut the hell out of yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we found the island's old airstrip. I almost took off, buddy. Yeah. I was so close. Yeah. <laughs> we just took a look at the map and realized that this is not the old airstrip. This is the functioning current airstrip. So we're getting the hell out of here. Quiet. Mm. The highest point in Utila. Yeah. Fortunately, we gotta get going to take the rental back. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yes. Okay, let's roll. Goodbye, Pumpkin Hill. Ow. <laughs> Butt is stiff. Oh yeah. See you later, Grizzly. You did us well. All right, time to get a beer and some food, right, yes. bud? Yes. Might just be oh. Oh. oh, yes. This is gonna be my first IPA in, since we were in Florida. It's been a while. Here we go. Oh, it looks so good. It smells definitely very hoppy. It's like the most delicious thing I've ever had in my life. Next week on Project Atticus. I'm super excited because we signed up for a free diving course. I'm really excited to actually take a course that'll make us uh, be more safety oriented as well as empower us to go even deeper because safety there's no accident. She's laughing so she's breathing. Now you gotta okay. change how you're talking hey, to her. Desiree, breathe. breathe. That's it, keep Good. doing that. You're doing great. <laughs> guys hope you enjoyed this week's episode we got a couple of new patrons that we want to thank this week so we got Craig and Sarah Wright 
We got Speedy Racing Team, we got Thomas R. Mihawk, and we got Christopher Bennett. Nice bud, looking good. Yeah, thank you, I uh, I work out. We've also got Scott Van Schardenberg, our longest last name so far. Nice one, you nailed that. Thank you. Van Schardenberg. I was practicing. <laughs> We've got Jason Bowles, Richard Hill, and Chad Saxton. And if you guys are super big Project Atticus fans, then definitely consider becoming a patron by clicking here. And other than that, we will catch you guys later.